Hello and welcome everyone to my little corner of the internet. My name is Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. Today I'm presenting you a review. The review is about Johnny and the Greater Game by Eric Brown, a steampunk novel. Johnny and the Greater Game focuses on the character of Janisha Chatterjee and she is a half British, half Indian student of medicine. She studies in London but when we meet her she's on an airship on the way to India because her father is yeah on his deathbed in, in India and he's the minister I think of security in India. But the ship Johnny is on is shut down by the Russians. Um, Johnny survives the crash, meets a mysterious prisoner and this prisoner hands her some sort of token and that token is actually the focus of many different yeah parties that want to get to this token. There are of course the Russians that shut down the ship, there are some British spies or the British military that wants to get into possession of the token um, and there's also an Indian religious leader that yeah has visions of Kali that wants to return to the world and yeah he kind of thinks that he needs the token as well to accomplish his goals. Johnny is a very capable and intelligent young woman. I really like how she often is able to yeah, see through, through patterns and analyze situations uh, very well. I think the author did really good on this part. Um, uh, she has the majority of the chapters in the book but it's a multi POV telling and there's also um, chapters from the point of Anan. Anan is a like a houseboy or servant um, from the Chatterjee, uh, Chatterjee household and he is like a, a friend from childhood of, of Janice and he yeah he's involved in the story as well. Um, the third perspective is Lieutenant Alfie Littlebody. He's a British yeah, military officer and when we meet him he just fled the scene of a shooting um, where British soldiers shut down or put down a yeah, uh, unrest, social upheaval in, um, um, in an Indian town I think in Allahabad. And yeah, and he wasn't really, really okay with that because he said, no, we, we shouldn't have shot these, uh, these protesters. That was not the, the right way. And maybe, yeah, he's getting into trouble for that now. And the last perspective is the Indian priest Drasdurga. I, I already talked about him being one of the antagonists looking for the, the token and we yeah, see glimpses from his point of view as well. Overall it's a great action adventure. It's set in India. It has some very uh, cool ideas like the mechanical elephant. You can see on the cover I, I especially loved, uh, loved this elephant in the uh, in the book because they yeah, they like travel with him for a while and it was really done well. Um, I enjoyed that and um, what was maybe the, the weak weaker part of the of the book was that Johnny is as I said very intelligent and capable but the author decided a lot on um, bringing her in yeah, situations of danger where she has to be rescued in the end and that conflicted a bit with the view I had of the of the character because she um, yeah she gets like trapped like three or four times in the in the book and yeah that has to be rescued she she always there's always this that he shows how capable she is because the she almost escapes by herself but then in the end to create this kind of, of urgency and to bring the other characters in she has to be rescued so she becomes sometimes a bit of the damsel in distress although yeah as I said she's actually very capable. Nonetheless I think if you're looking for an action adventure with a great fe female lead 
and with slight themes of, um, for example, imperialism, um, then this is a great book. I gave it four stars in the end. I, I was yeah a, a bit between three and four. It was either a strong three star or a bit weaker four star. But as I actually enjoyed myself and it was a quick read, I decided to give it four stars in the end. That's it from me today. I hope you liked the review. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on the channel, please look inside the comment box. There's a little segment called On the Horizon. Um, I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye.